Okay, I hope you're all staying healthy and safe. I love and miss you all so very much, and I really hope I get to see you back in pre-K really soon. I wanted to talk to you today because there are these special people called first responders. First responders are people who come to you when you need help, when you're sick, or when you just don't know what to do. So those people are police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, doctors, nurses, and so many other people who work in hospitals, who work with the police department, who work with the firefighters. They're all there to help you. And right now, those people are working extra, extra hard to make people stay healthy and make sure people get better so that we can go back to school and go back to being outside and seeing people again. So I thought today it would be really awesome if we did something called the Blue Heart Project. So what this means is since first responders wear blue, we're going to make a blue heart to show them how much we care about them and support them. So all you need is some paper. I have a blue marker and a blue crayon, but you can get creative. There's so many different color blues. You might have blue paper, you might have blue paint, you might have a blue tablecloth that mommy will let you use, blue wrapping paper, whatever you want to do. It's unlimited. And I also got some scissors because I decided to cut mine, but you can't use scissors without a big person's help. So what I did was I made two. This one says, thanks for being a hero, and I cut it in the shape of a heart. Your mommies or daddies or grandmas or aunties or any big person could help you cut a heart or draw a heart for you to cut out if you want to do this kind. And I wrote, thanks for being a hero. And then I also made this one where I drew all the different first responders and wrote thank you and just made it look like a heart. And I could probably decorate it more, but I'm not done yet. But I want you to make a blue heart so you could do one of mine you can make your own you can make a big flag you could do whatever you want but the important thing is that your blue heart is supposed to go somewhere where people can see it so i'm gonna probably hang mine on my front door or on my window by my front of my house so that when the first responders drive by or walk by or anyone walks by they can see that I care about the first responders and I'm saying thank you. So it's really important that we thank these people for keeping us safe and keeping us healthy. So I challenge you to make a blue heart of some kind and I hope that maybe your mommies or daddies can take a picture and email it to me because I'd love to see it. But get creative. Maybe you have blue chalk and you want to do a blue message in chalk on the sidewalk or on the like pathway to your house anything you want to do but make sure we say thank you to those people who are helping us stay healthy right now well pre-k that's all i got for today i hope you have a fun time making your blue hearts i love you all and miss you so much and i'm sending big air hugs your way hopefully i get to see you soon